Hello everybody, today I'm going to present initial results of monitoring glacier dynamic in Tarfala Valley in Sweden with Sentinel-1 data. There are around 300 glaciers in Sweden that only few of them have been studied so far and it doesn't exist comprehensive information about all glacier dynamic changes. The current measuring tools to obtain data from glacier and permafrost condition in Sweden our traditional ground survey method based on the point-wise instead measurements such as borehole, snow propping, stake, and snow density measurements, which are costly, time-consuming, and labor-intensive. Tarpala Valley is a valley in Kiruna municipality in Sweden. Several glaciers flow into the valley and glaciological research has been conducted since 1946 at the Tarfala scientific stations. The Tarfala research station is a field station of Stockholm University. The station lies in the Tarfala Valley in northern Sweden. It specializes in glacier, pre-glacial and climatological research. The case study is Tarfala glaciers, including several major glaciers but we will focus on mainly on the Stor Glaciaren. Stor Glaciaren is the small valley glacier on the eastern flank of the Kippenkaisen Massif in northern Sweden. It's perhaps most known for having the world's longest continuous surface mass balance record starting in 1946, continuing to this day under support of Stockholm University and Tarfala Research Stations. And the photos on the low on the below it's a Kevin Kaiser is the highest mountain in Sweden the, gla the glaciated southern peak has shrunk by 24 meters during the last 50 years we used sentinel 1 a and b data from 2017 from 2017 to 2019 with the reused time and 6 and 12 days we used 133 in descending and 135 ascending modes we used a small baseline subset technique in order to estimate the, the displacement on the glaciers here we can see the result of line of sight displacement extraction for both ascending and descending mode. After combining both inside geometry and decomposition, we extract the vertical and horizontal displacement. Here we can see the cross section value over east and west displacement map. Here the result of some value or the up and down map relating to the mass related to the gaining mass and losing mass of the glaciers we could make a link we could make a link between insert result and the insert measurements for example we could we could connect the correlation between different parts of the glacier, for example, accumulation zone, population zone, equilibrium line with the INSAR with the SAR coming from SAR data, for example, coherence intensity and mass balance from ground measurements and finding some good agreement between between the mass balance estimation from INSAR. Finally, we, we are going to develop an algorithm to estimate the mass balance with the INSAR technique and considering the, the accuracy derived by the INSAR in comparison with the in-suit measurements. As a preservation data and the modeling approach and closely interconnected and as a result, data from monitoring can be used to calibrate or validate models and model simulations help to understand information from monitoring programs 
and to design focus long-term observations. The next goal will be create the 3D eyes fellow numerical modeling and compare with the INSAR results. Thank you for your attention.